Good morning, everybody. Would it really be a vlog if I didn't start it out by saying I went to bed with my hair wet and I am sporting my lion's mane this morning until I get myself together. Let me show y'all this cute little thing. I think it's Melissa and Doug. Yes, it is. Look. But this cute little calendar I've been doing with kids to do, you know, the months of the year, the days, days of the week, temperatures outside, seasons, weather. Just been kind of adding that into their school day. It's magnetic. Forgot to show you guys that. It's a fun, really fun little thing to do. Anyhow, I just thought I'd show you guys that, but I want to show you something else. First time I think I've ever brought y'all in the bathroom with me. So, we've been working on potty training, Colton, for at least a good two and a half years. You know, some days are great, and then some days when we're busy, like outside, we're gone, whatever. He forgets. Two and a half years we've been working on potty training. Now, his fifth birthday is coming up about eight more weeks. I've got this little chart that I've made. Look at their potty seat. That is a great potty seat, you guys. I have made them potty charts, and I just take big old piece of poster board and cut it and because i have to change it out weekly but chloe still yet to do this she's too you know not super stressed about hers she is doing really good about telling me she has to pee on the potty every time bubba is doing really good too so i'm hoping with that we will have a little more success i am determined to have this child out of pull-ups colton by this winter like, I am determined. I have done got him tons of underwear. I got the underwear that has the extra cotton in the front for now. But some days I just put it on him while we're outside. And I'll just ask him, hey, you use the bathroom? You got potty? Two, when he's having a good day. And I'll just, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. We're getting there. Hoping to get this youngin out of pull-ups by this winter. 100%. So I just thought I'd show you guys those things. Today, yesterday was a super busy day for us, you guys. For all of you that don't know, the website is back open. If you want to head over there and check it out, everything new is coming. We pulled most of what we had and we're trying to start over and do things different. Just head over and see if you like it. Check it out. We are not even near done. We have just a few designs up right now. But today, we got to cut the grass. We've got to... Um, go to the grocery store. That's pretty much it for the, well, I gotta do school with the kids. I, I don't even think about saying that because that's just kind of like after breakfast, the breakfast, that's what we do. <laughs> Yesterday, I managed to put in three hours of homeschool with the kids. And then we, me and the kids were outside most of the day. Sean was working most of the day. And then we ended up going four-wheeling yesterday evening and then stopped at his, it, yesterday was super busy. Let's get the day started. I need to do something with my lion's mane. Like this, the more I touch it, the more it grows. It just gets bigger. Y'all, I'm sitting here writing out my grocery list. I am like getting anxious about going to the grocery store anymore. You just ain't getting your bang for the buck like you used to, you know what I mean? Not only that, I feel like we're at the grocery store sometimes twice a week now. Golly, I know what it's gonna be. Like, it's never a cheap trip anymore. Like, even if you only come out with six bags, grocery bags, little grocery bags, could possibly be $200. I don't like to get on here and complain too much, but I think everybody as a collective is kind of feeling the grocery burden. This is crazy. What we used to get a year and a half ago, an entire buggy full, $280. That's meat and everything. Now, four to $500. <sighs> Love having food in the house, but going to the grocery store anymore, I tell ya. My mom did, did send me some um, coupons for sausage, so thanks, mama. Y'all know what I'm saying. It ain't fun. The grocery store used to be kind of fun. Now it's just like, ugh, dreadful. What are we doing? I got the book. Pumpkins? Pumpkins. Cece, what are we doing? Pink. You want pumpkin. a pink? Pink. Pump. Pink pumpkin. Pink pumpkins? Did, <laughs> did you have too much fun at the park? You got dirt all over your face. And your hands. Did you find acorns with all your little friends? Yes. Yes. I'll make a house. You was going to make an acorn house? No. What eats acorns? Squirrels. Yeah! Right, Bubby, what's it? does a squirrel eat an acorn? Yeah. Oh, yuck. What you got, Cece? 
Got your Play-Doh and your pumpkins. Okay, I think we gotta wash them pumpkins before we paint them. They look pretty dirty. We're home, we're getting ready to paint pumpkins. We all gonna put on our play clothes and get jiggy with it. That's Bubby too if he wants some. All right, Bub, here's your paintbrush. Paint Mama your pumpkin. Brush. Now, start painting your pumpkin. Here's your pen. Yeah. Start painting your pumpkin. Yeah. Do like this. Get you some more paint. Whoa, Bubby. Look, go up and down, up and down. Paint your pumpkin up and down. Mommy, mop it out on this side, hardly. Yay! Yay! Good job. Here, stick your eye on there. Okay. Okay. Hear me. They did paint the pumpkin. Oh no, wipe her off. Mm -hmm. I brought some paper towel though. Down, down, yay! Oh man, that is so, no, don't get it on me. You want a gold? Ooh, gold and pink will be pretty. What, you want blue? Okay, sit down. Mommy, look! So beautiful. We're about to make this disappear. Come here and get it. It is the next day, you guys. That pumpkin's too big for you. You, where are you wanting to put it? Put a house. You gonna put your pumpkin inside your house? There you go. Once again, it is the next day, you guys. We ended up having Mama came up, and then my sister came by, and then my niece came by, and her boyfriends, uh, Jeremiah came by. So yesterday evening was just super busy yesterday was busy all together it is like supposed to get up to 80 today but tomorrow and the next three days after that we were supposed to drop into 37 at night to the mid 40s um low 50s during the day so we're gonna go ahead today and get the yard cut we already i mean y'all can tell we are surrounded but look at the hillsides we're already getting covered by leaves. The yard everywhere. So I figure we keep cutting the grass just to mulch up some of these leaves and kind of help ourselves along the way. We get, you all, it, it is unreal the amount of leaves we get back here. I hey, did die, die. Are you outside playing? I did die, die. Yeah. Sean has gone to get a few things. Yeah. I think he's getting some caulk and a bathroom light. It, Something is going on with the bathroom light. It keeps flickering and everything. He's gonna swap it out, check the wiring and everything. But this evening we are going to, I kind of, y'all, I'm craving sort of a mini mock Thanksgiving meal. So I've got some chicken laid out and I got some stuffing when I went grocery shopping the other day and potatoes and rolls and some greens. We're gonna cook up a little mini mock Thanksgiving in a little while. First, we're gonna get this yard took care of. We've already done school with kids this morning and I've already done my cleaning list for the day. It was to Windex every piece of glass in the house. I cleaned my washer and dryer off, ran my coffee pot and all that, but I Windex the windows, the doors, the bathrooms, the mirrors, everything. Yep, we good. I'm telling you, with toddlers running around, y'all look here. Shoes, a book, a screwdriver, some chalk. What else do we got? What other goodies? Oh, look, there's a single shoe laying over there. A curtain rod for some crazy reason. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're so cute. What you doing back there? You think I need a boost? Look here at this one. Are you in deep thought on your pumpkin? What are you thinking about? What's going on? 
You know, this is probably your last day in a tank top. What are you thinking about? Your pumpkin's too big for you to carry. Well, why did you move it? Hey. Oh, thank you for watching me. Yes. I'm gonna try and start it. I don't know. First try this time. Well, not too shabby. Sean is catastrophically complaining about the lines. I had it trained. I'm like, listen, just be grateful. How about that? Be thankful. Sheesh. It's too hot to be October, y'all. It just don't feel right. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a five. Y'all, I had that chest cold at the end of June and another chest cold um, in August after we came back from Dollywood. And I tell you, I'm feeling it right now. Like, it's it's cleared up finally, but cutting this section here usually don't bother me. I'm a little winded, so I can definitely tell I've had two deep chest colds in the last couple months. Sitting here thinking to myself, I'm probably wrong. I was like, they have to think that I never clean myself up. Like, I've always got my hair back in a clip. Mine and Sean's anniversary vlog when we went to Pikeville. That's about as dressed up as I get, you guys. I don't have fancy clothes. I have no intention on buying bougie fancy clothes. People do. I think people look gorgeous in, those, in fancy blouses, dresses. I just don't feel comfortable in them kind of clothes, you know? There are times I get myself dressed up, my makeup, you know, my nice shirt, my jeans, my boots and stuff. And when I go get the days I get my hair done, got to go out and run errands do all that stuff me and Sean the kids going somewhere to eat going out but most of our vlogs we do here at home so I feel like I always look like a mess but you know why am I gonna go out of my way to get up and waste my makeup that costs too much money already you know put on my good clothes I'm gonna be outside getting stained up with the kids hey mommy what do you need daddy daddy you want a popsicle daddy Okay. I have been requested for a popsicle. You guys, we buy these Outshine popsicles and it's all natural, all fruit. They absolutely, they're good. I love them too, but I save them for the kids. But they are so good. Such a good, clean brand. No dyes, no none of that stuff. No artificial sweeteners, you know. So, mamas, if you want a good treat for your babies, Outshine bars, they're good. Is this what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Tell me where. Oh, you need help? <laughs> Did you want a popsicle? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. Good? Good. Okay. Chloe, what did Daddy do? Y'all, she was jumping on him because he put that tarp, the grill cover in that <laughs> in that bucket there and there's usually water in it. She said, Daddy, no, no, there's water. <laughs> Little Miss Bossy. Kind of big girl are you? Okay, many hours later. I am in the house. We're still not done. Sean and Jeremiah just finished the main backyard. Our property's not wide. It's very long. But they finished the main back of the property. I'm going to go ahead and get food on real quick because they're going to eat and then finish the front yard. And I got to bath the kids and all that. Because every one of us has got leaf 
debris and dust in our eyes anyhow i was going to you know do the egg and uh flour and all that but i'm just going to season this chicken up and throw it in the pan i'm not going to do the potatoes i'm just going to do sweet potatoes instead stuffing and mac and cheese because i know the kids will eat that i was going to do some greens but i know they'll eat that and dinner rolls let's get started just putting salt, pepper. You guys, I'm keeping it simple, like I said. On both sides. I might throw a little garlic powder on there, too, because this one don't have enough garlic for my liking. Oh. All right, you guys. Here is supper. I wish that was dark meat on a turkey, but it's chicken mac and cheese dinner rolls with butter sweet potato yams and cornbread stuffing who's hungry i got a messy baby oh my goodness hey you've been playing in the dirt Memo. you got ice cream Memo. on your face new life these people must believe in reincarnation because if you drink too much of that you're gonna have a new life you're Shut gonna die it. i know i deserved it <laughs> Y'all yeah. <laughs> know I'm getting him back. What I'm going to tell him is that we got paid $1,000 to promote a men's healthy drink. Let me show you how we're going to get this done. The bottle fits the part. Y'all cannot deny. Now we're going to mix up a little concoction here. And I hope it tastes absolutely wretched. Clam juice. Little lemon juice. Little green machine. He absolutely hates this right here. That juice in there. Why not? Sweet and sour. Kind of reminds me of the situation happening right now. He likes this. Yum. Okay, let's make this thousand dollar sponsored drink. Now, I gotta make this look like it is brand new out the box. Just got sent to us. I gotta clean this puppy back up. Bottle is pristine. Looks like it did when I brought it home, even though it came in the mail. Enjoy, dear. What you got us into? Act like you like it, even if you may love it. I'm but still not happy about it. accepting money for something we've not uh, tried before. Sean. It's $1,000, oh, yeah. okay? I've already signed the contract. Everything yeah. is, it's a health drink. We want to get healthier. Act like you, you're you happy, you're excited to try this new healthy drink. Lovely probiotic, okay. Probiotic. Yeah, it's good for your belly. Yeah, I'm going to be crapping my guts out later. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you smiling like that? Because you always like, this is... Uh, we ain't even <laughs> Well, I was trying to look happy. The be serious. Okay. Like, be charming. Be serious. Okay? Oh, there ain't a charming bone in my body. Where do you go with that? We know. All right, let's go. You Hurry. can do it for money, though, right? Can you be charming for money? Money ain't my motivator. Okay, you guys. We had a new drink sent to us by this company called New Life. It is um, supposed to have probiotics. Probiotics in it. It's for gut health. That tells you right here. It says bubbly probiotic for gut health. So it's just supposed to be good for your body altogether. Okay, it wait, is wait, a wait, men's. Wait, 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 wait. Why is it chunky? It's probably got seeds and, I mean, help, gut health. Couldn't they filter that? All right. God, go ahead. Go Sean, ahead. Sean, you eat nothing. I can eat it. Go, 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 go. Okay. Go. I forgot where we stopped. Where I we stopped. Know. Now, Sean's been having heartburn and things here lately. So I was like, this is right on. Perfect timing. Let's give this drink a try. Are you excited to try the new drink? Oh, of course. I can. I'll try anything. Look at the stuff we tried. Like, why not try a gut drink? Okay, it said on the box when I opened it to shake it up a little bit. So, now this is for men. They have a women's also, but they sent the well, men's. Where's the women's? They just sent the men's. They made a deal with you. Very heavy duty bottle. Ooh, it's definitely. Does it smell good? Ooh. I don't know about this. They... What? I'll never sell this. 
I'm so glad you can edit videos. This is a paid promotion. I don't want their money. Smell of this. It smells fine to me. It smells <laughs> It smells like it's got a little vinegar in it. We need to issue a refund. Now, what you gonna do is drink this drink so I can get my thousand dollars. Listen, if I drink this drink and we post listen, this video and anybody buys this stuff, they're never gonna trust me again. Sean, everybody knows that healthy stuff tastes a lot worse than, you know, garbage, which is ironic. But just maybe it will make you feel like Superman. It smells like garbage juice. Oh my God. Anyhow, you have to drink um, at least this much. Oh, you know? what? Oh, dang of it. You have to act. Like, or you have to say you like it. Yeah, it's healthy. It, it, it smells funny. It might not taste bad. All right, here y'all go. Here is the health aid from, what you say? New Life. Health aid from New Life Kabucha Pomegranate. New life, these people must believe in reincarnation because if you drink too much of that, you're gonna have a new life. You're Shut gonna die. It. No, that is gross, man. Issue a refund to this company. I don't care if they've sent ten thousand dollars. No one will ever trust me again if I try to sell them that. There is no way. Stop. I've already signed the contract. Now you have to be. Well, we in violation because I am not doing that. Sean. Lit, you want me to pay them a thousand dollars? I don't care. Give them a thousand dollars back. Take a drink. I ain't Take giving them a thousand dollars. You're gonna Take grow up. Give me Take this. Sip. You're Take gonna sit here. Take it's sip. for men. Take a sip. Take a sip. I have estrogen, not well, testosterone. I don't care. Well, well you, you better drink that. I'm not touching it. I'm not, dude. I am not selling that product. If this is legit, I am not selling that product to a single human being on this planet. Take one more sip no, and you prove take to me that you, you don't. It's for you men. Take. I can't. Call me Sally. I'm not drink. taking a drink. Ha. Something is up here. Sean, <laughs> just take one more drink. No, for good measure. No, I can still taste that in my <laughs> You mouth. only tried it once. Try it one more time and then I'll know you really hate it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying to me. You're lying to me. There is no way somebody on this you earth. You watched me may, open it. I don't care. <laughs> you watched me open it. Do you want me to really tell you what's in this health drink? Clam juice, lemon juice, Italian dressing, red cabbage juice, and a little kombucha, and some Dijon mustard. You laughed the first time I knew something. You know what? That is what you get. That's what you get. You got one coming. We'll see about that. <laughs>